news. According to my source, NRS will be taking the Shaolin Monk's route for Mortal Kombat 12. Now this may come as good news to the majority of you and it may come to come as bad news for the rest of you. So let me go ahead and give the first side. So I kind of saw this coming. I, I, I wanted it to happen, but I really didn't want it to happen. I guess I didn't care because I wanted to see something more deadly, something more destructive. And that's not to say that we won't get that, but I'm told that they're going to be doing the whole Shaolin Monks aspect, which is the reason why Liu Kang has confronted Kong Lao and recruited him. Now, don't get me wrong. The information I gave you in a previous video still stand where I told you that he's going to be uh, he's going to be training the great Kong Lao along with Bo Rai Cho and and that Kai will be remaking will be making his return also. So the only thing that changed between that video and this video, well, a lot has changed, but the updated information that's changed between that video and this video is the fact that they're really going to play into the relationship of Kung Lao and Liu Kang. That's what's going to happen. And I, you know, people really want to see it. I, I mean, I guess it's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna still play the game regardless. I'm gonna still watch it. We still gonna have fun with it but honestly i kind of wanted to see shane sung's ending be canon now my source did inform me at one point that they were going to continue shane sung's ending via a dlc package and then kind of have fire god Liu kang go up against you know uh let's just say fire god shane sung that's not his name but for the sake of simplicity Shang Tsung from the DLC ending and Liu Kang from his own ending being top gods after killing Kronika kind of go at each other and that Liu Kang was going to build an army that was going to invade you know Shang Tsung's existence because all of time has merged it's all fell on top of each other due to Liu Kang being a false god and Liu Kang is going to get confronted by other titans or people that are higher than titans because he killed Kronika and nobody gave him the green light to do so now that's just basically that's basically that so i'm gonna go ahead and touch on this other topic and then we'll convert back over to shaolin monks so consider this a gift because you're getting two topics in one video now so basically what's going on is this you know how raiden was not allowed to interfere with the mortal Kombat tournament at all because the elder gods would not let him well Kronika had a set of rules that she had to follow too. She was not the end all be all. She had people she had to answer to. And just like anybody else on this earth, she had a duty that she needed to fulfill, except she had less restrictions. But one of the restrictions that she did have was she could not interfere with time. She could not do that at all, which means this is the reason why she said, there has been thousands of timelines and she's seen every outcome because she couldn't just pop up and just kill Raiden or, you know, take one of them out and then be like, all right, it's done. She had to set it up. So she influenced events for it to happen is what she did. However, she ended up did showing her hand. Now, a lot of people depicted Kronika as evil, as an evil character. And my source confirmed that Kronika is not evil she's far from it she's more of a uh of a utopian god meaning that she's not on the side of good or the side of evil she is all about balance is what she's about and there has to be balance in the universe in order for it to function correctly because if not time does begins to break so it's just like having a car you got to do maintenance on it or it's going to fold in on itself now they're using elements of armageddon Remember Armageddon where they was like, you know, the, the fighters are becoming too powerful. We need somebody to defeat Blaze to fix the balance of time, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. Now, they blamed that on Kronika and said Kronika was responsible for that, blah, 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 whatever. But we all know they did a, a, a reboot, so you can call it canon or you can not call it canon. But according to the writers, Kronika is responsible for different existences. Let's just say that and leave it there. But the fact that they're going to be doing this with Liu Kang and Kong Lao converting back over to the Shaolin Monks thing. I mean, if that's what the people want to see, go ahead and give it to them. But I think when the fans said they wanted Shaolin Monks, they were talking about the Shaolin Monks 2 video game. They really didn't care. I'm not going to say people don't care about Kong Lao and Liu Kang, but they more so enjoyed the multiplayer co-op play that they had going on. And the reason is they wanted to see a part two to that. But giving them story modes is going to be pretty good. I mean, we did get some of that MK11. The scenes were pretty good also, but I felt like it was more story-based 
And I guess the game should be story based, but we never really got any cool tidbits about the game. Like we know how to give you useless content. The useless content is so so valuable. For example, I don't remember seeing anybody in any of Mortal Kombat 11 eat anything. I don't remember seeing anybody drink anything. I don't remember seeing any chips, any snacks. I don't remember seeing anybody just kind of kick back and put their feet up except Johnny Cage. Uh, what do people do in their spare time? We have seen none of that. So that tells us that NRS has a lot of growing to do. And I cannot wait to see them do that. But the fact that they're rebooting Kong Lao as a character is fantastic with me. That is something I do like and that I do appreciate. Because rebooting Kong Lao as a character, because he was a snobby mofo. Like, he was just snobby, cocky, overconfident. I mean, I guess that has its advantages. But they're looking to do something different with Kong Lao. And um, I think it's fantastic that they're going to be trying something new. And that's going to take us into an entirely different direction. But I want to pass this question off to you guys in the comment section below. How do you feel about NRS taking the Shaolin Monks route for at least the first few chapters of Mortal Kombat 12? Or I should say the first hour or so of Mortal Kombat 12. Because I did make a video telling you guys that they have considered to get rid of chapters to kind of take a completely different approach with the game if they get rid of chapters i think that'll be pretty good but if you are going to add chapters they need to be at least like 30 chapters or something like that i think that'd be great because the game was too short in my opinion it just was and you guys got to be more creative and i think that's what's gonna uh that's what's gonna help the franchise out but again make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications as this is your brand new favorite and exclusive place for daily mortal kombat content not only that be sure to subscribe to my second channel called the wave report shorts because i will be posting mortal kombat 12 gameplay over there i will be doing tons of gameplay content this channel here is uh information baked based leak based so i just think i'm going to be putting all the gameplay on that second channel so go subscribe we almost had a thousand subscribers over there now if you happen to go to the channel based on when you watch this video and it's not called the wave report shorts just know it's going to be the channel that's pinned on this channel here so if you click on my name it's going to take you to my page you're going to see that channel pinned it's not hard at all it's easy you can't miss it just subscribe and uh we'll be able to chop it up from there appreciate you guys tuning in and please believe I will catch you in the next one. Stay up, get in that comment section. I will be reading to check in, you know, checking to see what you guys are saying and what's going on. So uh with that being said, appreciate you. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.